Are you currently debating to switch class in Legend of Mushroom to even maybe the Arrow God or the Warrior? Well, just hold out because even I am thinking the same. I'm going to give you guys my thought process and reasons why you should be holding out right now unless you are one of the biggest vendors and who has access to the gems to keep switching. So let's deep dive into today's video. Hello everyone, yes, yeah, smash like, comment, and subscribe with me, Mr. Sneaking, an official Legend of Mushroom content creator. And as of May still, we are an official sponsor of Aptoid. So if you are using Aptoid's wallet, why not just help me out, help yourselves out with 5% bonuses on all of your purchases with my code, Mr. Sneaky, right? So today, what I'm kind of going to go into is more of a little bit of a theory, craft, opinionated video compared to any of the guide stuff. So hopefully you do enjoy this style of video. It's about class swapping, right? Because the one thing in this game, I'm going to be honest, I'm playing Arrow God and I can tell being an Arrow God compared to some other classes that I've been using in the past, especially as like free to plays too, how much easier this class has had a good time just clearing PvE content. I'm not going to lie. As soon as this new skill delay system on top has been introduced, honestly, I've been cooking through all of these bosses i've just been able to just let it fly go through and it might look a bit grim but this this setup lets me push through it's crazy how well it is right but the one issue i do have being an arrow god player and any arrow god player will know what i'm gonna say about this is i feel as a pvp player on that side of things it's just not good times boys it's not a good time you just go against basically any Shadow Monarch, you know, the Sniper Boys, or even just a War Monger, and you are getting obliterated every single time, right? Because you just can't beat them in those stages, right? So it makes sense if you want to switch class. That's kind of one thing I'm looking at now, where I might have to switch class and go into, you know, maybe War Monger or maybe Mage or something like that, but it's obviously we need to wait and the reason why we need to wait as you guys can um, probably remember from my previous video if you've checked it out i will put a little comment or highlight around this time for you is they're buffing all the classes right they are buffing all the classes in the game right and because they i say they're buffing all the classes in the game they're buffing mages and they're rebalancing the classes in the game we don't know when this is going to happen but they have stated it on their latest or the oldest Q&A dev feedback video, which was really, really good. And I'm glad to see that I know there is a slight imbalance in the different, you know, classes. Because to be honest, like anyone would agree, there's three main classes, the mage, the warrior, the archer. It should just be a rock, paper, scissors, even if there's two subtypes. Those subtypes should still be being in a rock, paper, scissors format, right? And that's got me obviously thinking because I want to kind of ask it into your guys' hand here because obviously I am going to be switching most likely to a warrior soon. And what I'm doing, as you can see, I've got some really good gear. Uh, my counter strike on this is 34.09%, right? Which I think is a pretty good. Comparatively to my combo is 35.14%, right? So you can see gear-wise, I am pretty darn close when it comes to the same main stat. And um, obviously, I wish I could have some better maybe evasion uh, and regeneration potentially on there, or even just a higher defense, right? So I would love to have a bit more defense. But then when we go into the skill one, this is the mage one. I'm just going to say it, my mage one, I am just slowly only just working on it because I don't know if mages are going to be any better. But if they are going to be better, the way I think they're going to be played personally is through the, the chronomancer, right? Being able to um, not like combo off, but stun off, right? You're going to be able to stun more often, hopefully, and allow all of your skills to trigger way more often. So you're basically becoming a chain bomber, right? You're just like with all of your skills, which I would love to see, right? But I haven't obviously built this. And the one thing I want to ask you guys mainly is, do you reckon this is good enough to switch, 
right? It's a really honest question. Do you reckon this is good enough to switch? Because I do think it is. I'm at 34.09. This is 35.14. Obviously, I can switch my pals around. Obviously, switching to the Warmonger class as well is going to change the amount of Counter-Strike. But do you think it is valid for me to switch, right? It's a it's a good, good, honest question when it comes into it, right? But obviously, I'm not going to switch right now. Obviously, I don't have the gems. I have just spent all of my gems, basically, you can see here on my mount to get my mount ready because this week coming is going to be the mount rush right so i'm just going to be able to double up on all of my rewards so that's kind of why i've got i've been doing it like that and i'm it's on the side there um but yeah and i thought this would be a good video for you guys because i know a lot of players are probably playing mage or playing some other classes right now and they might feel like they want to switch and even i want to feel like i do want to switch from the arrow god it sounds crazy but i might i would love to play maybe like warrior once I'm playing Warrior, change my Arrow God gear to a Sniper and be a Sniper instead and just have super high crit and crit damage. I, I kind of do feel that. I think that's a new thing that could be coming into the game, which I think is just going to be superior than the combo when they rebalance it. But this is all hypotheticals. But I do want you guys to realize, you know, there's no reason for you to kind of like switch classes right now go hardcore into that class and then they're gonna get changed they're gonna get obviously bounced out and then you feel a little bit like oh i don't i don't like this class now because my other class i was playing has been buffed right so for this kind of nice little bit of an awareness video a little bit of me talking off the mind as a legend of mushroom player and just you know a content creator in general when we are pushing through and you can see i'm not having any issues right we're having no issues even on now chaos 6 i should be able to blitz through here go through hopefully chaos 7 as well without any issues but we'll soon see um, in a couple of days obviously when we get to that stage but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed it this has been a good little maybe community talk you know between me and you guys you've been listening probably playing on your legend of mushroom game and probably thinking of you know similar things so i'd love to hear your comments right do you think it's a problem or do you think it's silly you know to change classes now knowing that there's going to be some new class changes coming up in the future or do you think it's actually okay you know you know there's a ton of gem generation technically even in the game for free to play but do you think it's worth technically spending 4k now 4k later right that 4k could have been saved for your mounts which you really do need to upgrade and then even i need to start upgrading my mount and start working on this big boy right so it's one of those. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have, smash a like, comment, and subscribe. Join the sneaky family here on Legend of the Mushroom. This has been an amazing game. I've loved this game. Even the community has been great too. And with all of that, stay safe, guys. Stay sticky. Peace out.